I think this is one of the strongest indicator that all season is actually brewing and it's gonna pump. I think this, see this, see this rising wedge up here, see this rising wedge. I said, uh, you know, to my patrons that, you know, rising wedge, you know, means that you're going to break down. So look for this, you know, breakdown and uh, uh, if, if you dump down, you know, because rising wedge is your bearish patterns. But when these bearish patterns, these bearish patterns in bull markets are actually, you know, you know, we are breaking all kind of patterns, break to the upside. Uh, this is actually indication that this is very strong bullish move. And this move up here today, 20% up today, it shows that right now there is a huge bullishness in the market, huge bullishness. Because this rising wedge up here, this rising wedge should have broken down in any kind of normal scenario. Any kind of sideways movement, any kind of bearish movement, it should break down. But in a strong bull, uh, bull runs, you know, these patterns break to the upside. So that's one of the, you know, good signs that we are right now, maybe, maybe, starting some kind of all season. <laughs> the late adopter. I guess how you doing? Before we start, before we start, if you need, you know, some kind of help with knowing about coins and you know what's uh, what's good, what's not, what's uh, have good techniques, uh, like uh, uh, Harmony One. Uh, last, uh, you know, couple uh, couple of Patreon videos we've been saying, uh, you know. Harmony One has very good technicals, you know, it uh, should pop soon. It is popping soon, right? So if you need some kind of help, you know, to find coins before they pump 300% like Shiba Inu and stuff like that, you know, to see some kind of, uh, you know, patterns and stuff like that, check out, check out the Patreon, maybe that's something for you. Now that I've shielded my content, we can go back to Harmony One and see what's actually happening. So this rising wedge, this rising wedge definitely played out in our favor. Uh, towards the upside and uh, it looks very juicy not only that uh, this uh, support down here at the 15 and 16 did hold did hold. I think this is weekly this it's long time since yeah this is at uh, uh, this is down here at the weekly and the daily time frame so this support definitely did hold uh, and uh, the trend down here is uh, broken uh, the trend is broken we got the retest on the trend and uh, pumped uh, towards the upside so I think uh, on the foil you can see this a little better let's see here it was going actually something like this up here there we go uh, it was something, maybe it was something down here, something up here, maybe it's something up here. Uh, I didn't think this was actually, you know, legit line, but now that I'm uh, looking at it, it is legit line. And we uh, broke uh, up to the next uh, resistance. Next resistance at 2 and 2.1, and you can see that we are getting right there in the area. The first move was the first resistance broke that, re let's zoom in so you can see this nicer. Let's zoom in so you can see this nicer. Uh, you can see here that on the uh, on, on the first move we broke the resistance above it, and then on the second move we did uh, you know down and straight up to the next resistance up here. So these resistances, the, I didn't dra uh, draw them now. You know I had them for a long time. Even this uh, trend line down here, and uh, th these are right now being hit. Right now we are at all time high, and what uh, I think we are creating is like some kind of a cup and handpan. It can be one of two things. It can be a head and shoulders pattern, uh, inverse head and shoulders, right? I mean, it's pro probable, you know, it's, it is, you know, still bullish, but it can also be cup and handle pattern, you know, cup and handle pattern, you know, but it's still the same distance, it's still the same distance up here, <laughs> because this is logarithmic chart, so it does look like it's gonna pump a lot, but, you know, uh, you cannot do the uh, distances, you can see here, something like 34 or something like that, uh, I don't know how high that is, but, you know, it doesn't matter if this inverse head and shoulders pattern or something like that, the next target should be around 34 or something like that. How much is that? That's, you know, that's not, that's not 60%, that's, that's, that's doable, that's uh, that's not very you know um, uh, that's not 10x you know but that's uh, that's doable so this uh, this first target is I think it's already set and we know that it's gonna be around somewhere here so what he has to do now it has to break this resistance on the top you can see that these two resistance at 2.1 this one up here 2.1 and this one at 2 it's down there these are the all-time high and right now we are breaking them we are pushing up on this uh, 10 moving average you can see here we are pushing up and as soon as we break this uh, you know these uh, these uh, resistance right now this is gonna pump really really hard to 034 so this looks nice I have absolutely no problem with uh, harmony one I, I you know we've been saying for a long time even down here this does not follow Bitcoin we said this is uncorrelated Bitcoin and look at this man look at this it just keeps on going straight up it does follow Bitcoin at all and right now it is one of the first coins uh, to, to break so this move up here this is on the daily time frame right now what's happening is something extreme because you can see these two levels down here these are these are the benchmark levels and I think I even said yesterday or day before day before maybe uh, harmony looks bullish because it broke this level up here with this move and this retest, it broke this level, and this is a very characteristic move. First thing it does, it goes up, it creates a higher low, 
then it goes, it creates a higher high, and then it pulls back, right? It pulls back, but it's a bullish, already bullish, because it's creating higher highs and higher lows. It's already bullish, so all it does need is a retest. We got the retest, and we blast it out today. So for today, we are looking to close above, at least above one of these resistance. I mean, best case scenario above 2.1, above here. Uh, worst case scenario above this, and a terrible scenario above this resistance up here, but all of the scenarios are actually quite good, you know, but doesn't matter, doesn't matter, I think, you know, 20% is good for one day, you know, we don't have to, you know, do Shiba Inu and do 60-70% in one day, you know, uh, one day is good enough, you know, sit here, maybe it's gonna go a little bit sideways here, I don't know how long it's gonna take, it might also pump 50%, I really don't know, these these things are hard, but we do know that on the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, that, you know, the next target is, you know, 34 or whatever, uh, all the way up there, it's not down here, it's up there, so whether it's gonna go up here or right now and go all the way there, up there T today, it can do that, it's hard to figure out what's gonna do here, but the thing is, we are at the resistance, we pumped nicely, we have broke some levels, we gotta close, you know, we gotta clock in these levels, you know, we gotta, we gotta close up here, uh, preferably all the way up here, and once we do that, you know, this is gonna be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I have no problem with the Harmony, Harmony looks good, Harmony 1 looks like it's gonna pump, it hit the button, double button, nice double button down here, uh, double button here, it pumped like crazy, it's going up above, above all time high, we are getting continuation of the move, uh, all season is kicking in, if you wanna see tomorrow's Harmony video and see how high this is gonna get, subscribe to the channel, check out the Patreon if you wanna see other coins that are good or not good. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. See you around. Bye-bye.